G'day guys, Sapphire42 here. Um, this will be my first football post or first football video. Um, it's going to be the latest transfers, so you know I'm going to go through most of the teams of the English Premier League, of course. Um, not really into the, the other leagues, really. Um, this may be a two-parter. Uh, you never know. So it might be, it might not be. You never know. Okay. Um, oh, just before I forget, um, this will probably be the last one, because I doubt there'll be too many more transfers after this, so, I mean, I'm going to have a big one at the, see the start of the season, so go through every team, finalise the transfers, how, and a couple of predictions, and, you know, uh, someone that I will shine, that I think will shine from each team. Okay, we'll go in alphabetical order, or alphabetical order, sorry about that. Uh, first team, Arsenal. Um, they had a bit of a dodgy season last year. I mean, I, they could have lost fourth place if it wasn't for Aston Villa being so shit in the last half of the season. Um, but, yeah, I think they're, they're looking for more experience because their team is just way too young. Um, they've only really had one signing so far, and that's been Thomas, uh, Thomas Vermeulen from... Uh, Ajax in the Netherlands. Um, he's a Belgian defender. He's uh, the, he was the captain of Ajax, so it's going to bring a lot of experience to the club. Um, yeah, that's really about Arsenal. I mean, I think they've had a couple of academy signings, but not too much, I don't think. So yeah, okay. Um, Aston Villa. Um, they've only really had one major signing this season, being Stuart Downing from Middlesbrough. Um, yeah, you expect to see a lot of Middlesbrough and uh, Newcastle players in this transfer update as, you know, they all, they all got relegated and being in the championship with the salary cap, they can't really afford them, so they're going to be selling them off. And the big clubs will be ta picking their better players, which will be harder for them to get back into the Premier League, but you never know. Okay, and that was really it for Aston Villa as well. Again, maybe some other signings, but no one, no, 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 no major ones really. Um, Birmingham City um, just got promoted from the Championship. Um, they've signed Christian Benitez, which is an Ecuadorian striker, come from uh, the Mexican side Santos. Mm, don't really rate him too much. I mean, they've got a couple of set, uh, a couple of others like Scott, Scott Dan, uh, Roger Johnson, um, just a couple of championship defenders. So nothing really too impressive. I mean, they've signed Lee Bowyer from West Ham on a two-year contract. That's going to bring experience to the to Birmingham. But again, I don't see him too much of a um, yeah, I don't see him giving too much of an effort, really. Um, they've got a couple of uh, experienced defenders. Espinoza is another Ecuadorian. Um, he came from Barcelona Sporting Club, played most of his career in Ecuador. They've got Barry Ferguson from Rangers. They're both in their 30s, so they're going to bring experience. So they're going to have a pretty experienced back line. Um... Probably their biggest signing would be Joe Hart. He's on loan from Manchester City, goalkeeper. So that may be the reason for the um, experienced back line, just to help out Joe being a young goalkeeper and not having too much experience. I mean, he's had a couple of runs with Manchester City, but, yeah, not too much. Um, yeah, that really pretty much wraps up Birmingham. Okay, Bolton. Um... Again, not too many major signings. I mean, they've got they just got a, a goalkeeper. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. All you need to know is Greek, so that's why he has a long name. Um, he's a young one, so he's going to try and challenge Escalon for the first start. Don't see him taking it, but you know, um, Gail Givet is on loan from Marseille. Um, pretty good, very experienced, so you'll be right for him. Lars Jacobson, defender, a Denmark defender. Um, oh, hang on. Alrio van Heerden 
South African international. Um, he's actually quite good. I've seen him a couple of times. Plays for Belgian side club, Club Brugge. Club Brugge, sorry. Um, yeah, he's all right. So that's probably their main, major signing so far. Well, but like I said before, I doubt seeing too many more, really. Um, Bolton Wanderers. They've got Sean Davis, the youngster from Portsmouth. They've been chasing for a while now. And for them to get him is big ups for Bolton. Um, they suffered a fair amount last season losing Kevin Davies. And someone else. Kevin Nolan, that's it. Um, so they've tried to substitute, substitute that with Sean Davis signing. Um, youngster... You'll be alright for him. Um, and Paul Robinson on loan from West Bromium Albion, West Bromwich Albion. Um, they were trying to get him on a full transfer, not just on loan. But I think West Brom think they're going to get back into the Premier League, so they've only really released him for a loan because they can't really afford him, being with a salary cap in that. Um, Burnley. Um... Yeah, not much really. I mean, David Edger, the, he's an experienced defender from Newcastle again, just trying to unlo- offload the salary cap. Um, Toro Mears, Jamaican international from Derby. He's been on loan to Marseille for the past year, so he's going to be all right for him because um, they're going to need all the help they can get. I've seen their squad. It's not too flash. I mean, they got through the, on the playoffs, so... They can't rate, rank him too high. Um, Stephen Fletcher from Hibernian, and Hibernian striker from Scotland, and Brian Easton, the defender from Hamilton, another one from Scotland. But yeah, as you can tell, not much going on for Burnley. Chelsea, okay, um, not too much really. Too much activity. I mean, they got Daniel Sturridge. It's a 19-year-old striker from Man City. They've signed him. Um, more of a future signing, obviously. I doubt you'll see him playing this year. Um, Ross Turnbull. As you know, Chelsea lost Cudicini to Tottenham last season. So they're tr- trying to get a number two keeper to challenge Czech. Doubt anyone will beat him, but I mean, you've got to have the competition there. So Ross Noble, again, from Middlesbrough. Another player gone from that squad, and Euro Shwokov, um, the right back from CSKA Moscow, um, Russian right back, um, don't seem getting too much game time, unless, because I've heard that Bossingwa will be leaving, so, you know, if he goes, um, I'm sure Shwokov will get a chance, um, Everton, um, yeah, nothing too special here. Again, Luke Garbett just been promoted from the academy. Anton Peterlin, he's been playing in the fourth tier of the US for two years, but doubt he'll be making an appearance next year. Young defender from Hamburg, Mustafi, again, nothing. Probably their main one would be Joe, um, the Brazilian from Man City. They've got another season-long loan. Um, that may run him out for his contract at Man City, so Everton may get the opportunity to buy him at the end of the season. You never know. Um, that's it for Everton. Fulham. Okay, Fulham. Personally, uh, best team, or best, you know, they've done very well for the squad they had last season with, uh, in my opinion, player of the year, Mark Schwarzer. Um, it was just outstanding last year, and hopefully they will keep him and keep uh, Hangeland as well and go really well. Um, they've signed Stephen Kelly. He's an Ireland international from Birmingham. Um, Birmingham will be playing in the Europa League, so they're going to need a lot more players than just this one because they're going to be playing more games. And don't forget flights and things like that, so... They're going to need a, a much bigger squad this season. And Stephen Kelly, he's a good... He's good. He'll be right for him. Um, that leaves us for part one. I'll try and go a bit faster next time. I realise I was a bit slow. So stay tuned for part two. 
and I'll see you guys later.